Hey beautiful people, my name is Adriana and welcome back to Grounded Aesthetic Days. Today we are finally building our forever home for Asha Santos. Finally, finally it has happened to her. Thanks to her long lost relative, which I'm definitely going to tie in this story after this episode for sure because I feel like we definitely need it um because we've been working hard and grinding but I think it's time for us to go ahead and fill in some of the blanks when it comes to this because it's not very story oriented like my other LB but I still want this to be some form of story a little bit just for some entertainment purposes because it can get a bit monotonous and like tedious of all the little things we got to do daily and it can get kind of boring um unless you're playing a game with me then a so we're gonna go ahead and head to asha's lot and today's inspiration is a thank you so much to on your on your I feel like I'm butchering that and I'm so sorry, but they're the same this, um, home designers that made the house that I'm using for the Sloan family a legacy, my other LP. And I was so obsessed with that one. I'm like, this is perfect for Asha, but I didn't want to use the same exact um, house that they had. So I went on their gallery and I saw another home that looks so amazing and low key. I wish we could use this house for Solana too. Um, this is the house that I fell in love with, but I did not want to cheat on the game. I was like, I'm going to try and build it myself, even though I am not the best builder in the world, because actually this is not even the first home that I tried to build and it went, it went terribly. So this is actually my second attempt because I didn't like the one that I did the first go around. So this is the inspiration for it and this is what we are trying to do now there's a lot of other things that we have to do um inside our homes before we get to our next step so for the home you must build an entire home with a kitchen a dining room a living room at least three bedrooms and at least two bathrooms the home must also have a study with at least one computer and a pool after the basics of the homes are built construction uh construct a garden so after we do all those things we can construct a garden required steps which we already did was attain the level five in handiness and it's at least a three in logic and then pay 500 simoleons to the city for disturbance as there is no actual in-game feature for paying fines you must subtract it before 500 from your home a home is considered built when it has the basics at least one with one bed one bath at least one bedroom with a bed a bathroom with a toilet and a shower a living room a kitchen with a fridge sink counter stove tables chairs fire alarm and couch yep you can further develop your sims home later on after the basics you may now focus on the garden and get your handiness skill up to a level seven and your gardening skill up to a level five before the actual garden construction then subtract another 500 simoleons from your sims money as your garden blueprint apparently costs this much oh my gosh so we have quite a bit of things to do, ladies and gentlemen, them and theys. So even though we have used a lot of our money, I try my best to save it some of the money, but I did want her home to look at least a bit presentable on the outside, even though the inside is very much a bare, 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 bone, bone, bones, okay? But, which is fine. Um, we have a lot to do, but I really wanted to make sure it was spacious and um, all that good stuff. I wish I did this for Solana's home, actually, because I feel like we would have more space. Because right now, it feels so cramped in their house. It's just so cramped. But that's okay, because Safi will be moving out when he gets, turns into an adult. Um, 
so we'll have a bit more space and all that good stuff and when our little young star moves and all that good stuff but that's my other lp but i will talk to you in the end or next time i'm not sure if i'll be back but thank you for watching bye
Take a step out, get some in now, cut your edge out, twist some ice, fuck you be.